the source map is a platform for publishing the story behind products. So what they're made out of, where they come from, and what the environmental and social impacts of that might be. I would tell you the story of, uh, of SourceMap, which is essentially a project that uh, shares a fascination we all do about where things come from. And where this all started for, for me and for SourceMap was to look at computers, because so much of what we do as designers, as inventors, is to sell more computers. And so what are we selling? Well, so we started to look at what's inside a computer. And it's really staggering amount of stuff inside each laptop. So I looked at a big laptop like this one, a 17-incher. And, and you know, you're talking about a pound of copper. That's a lot of copper. Imagine that times 100 million, 500 million, a billion laptops. You're talking about a lot of tin. Tin's a funny one because almost all the tin in the world is mined by uh, families, individual small, called artisanal mines. Uh, they're essentially completely unaccounted for on the global scale. Uh, lithium, there's a lot of lithium in your laptop. In fact, there's so much lithium that it could be called a bomb. If the people who can afford computers grow as they should, uh, as they will, if a middle class keeps being able to afford these things, you're going to look at extinction rates for basic materials, uh, like silver and tin. We're looking uh, to provide this tool for consumers, for producers that are trying to decide on what the green products and strategies would be uh, and act on those decisions. And if they need to, to be able to publicize uh, the decisions they're making so that more people can also share in a sustainable lifestyle. We're not there to hold the data captive. We're there to spread it and spread the tools out as far as possible. So this is Google Earth. And if you want to find where things come from on Google Earth, it's actually quite easy because the mines are sometimes huge. And you can really zoom in for the first time. You know, we, we don't want there to be any excuse for people not to know where things come from. It's possible to know. It's possible to know down to the street address. It's possible to know the name of the person making it. It's possible to know it for every product on Earth. Uh, there should be no excuse.